Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple. And today I'm going to switch gears yet again and talk a little bit about QuickBooks Desktop 2024 and what's new. And as you can see, I'm starting off from the email that I received late last year telling us about the fact that Intuit will no longer sell new subscriptions of Pro Plus, Premier Plus, Mac Plus, and Enhanced Payroll after July 31st. I'm showing you this because the majority of the enhancements have been for 2024 in the enterprise products. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on. So I'm going to switch tabs right now so I can show you from the QuickBooks page where they talk about all these. And I'll put links to all this in the description and also in the comments so you can see what we're talking about. So the only two enhancements across the board to all products the first one has to do with list searching in fixed assets, memorized transactions, and payroll items. And Hector Garcia does a pretty good job of demonstrating this in a video that he did late last year. So I'm going to put the link to his video in there so you can watch that in its entirety or skip over the parts that you want to see. But other than that, the, and, and then there's one other enhancement that has to do with encryption, and I'll talk about that when I get to it. But I'm just going to scroll through here and show you all these other things that have been done to the enterprise products, such as customer prepayments. So if you're using customer prepayments, then this is certainly a new thing you might want to try because you can actually record and track customer prepayments and deposits on sales orders. I know that the process in the past has been kind of clunky and all that so this might be if you haven't developed a workaround that already works well for you you may want to try out that if you're using enterprise also there's been some category enhancements like in quickbooks online we have the capability of making different categories to group long list items in for our products and services well now you have that capability in enterprise not the other versions but in enterprise you have that capability now you also have certain inventory reports enhancements that you have in Enterprise. So if you're using Enterprise, this may be something you'll be able to look. You can also read through all this. And like I said, Hector does a good job of demonstrating this in his video, but it has to do with a couple of different reports that you can run now. Also, there's some enhancements in integrated 401k retirement plans offered through their partnership with Guideline and let's see easier hr administration another enhancement through the enterprise product only and also here's the the second thing we talked about the encryption now this is across the board for all the products so they have protected the data with the industry leading aes 256 bit encryption so for those of you who are not using enterprise, if this is something that would probably be something you would want to do, probably go ahead and at the time maybe upgrade to enterprise. But if you're thinking about just going ahead and moving on over to QuickBooks Online, that's something that I can help you with. I've been doing a lot of migrations from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. So if, if you're interested in that, here's my contact information. Reach out to me to schedule an appointment and see if there's something I can help you with. Also, if you're wanting to purchase any QuickBooks products, I partner with a reseller out of South Carolina. That's really big and and they can help you as well. Well, anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. Y'all take care. We will see you soon and have a great week, everybody.